If you like dogs, walks, and making a little extra money, it turns out WAG is an awesome way to do all three at the same time. My girlfriend and I live here in Seattle. It is expensive, so we've tried all sorts of ways to make a little extra money on the side. Instacart, DoorDash, you name it, we've tried all sorts of stuff. I think WAG is the best out of all of them. WAG is an app that connects pet owners with independent pet professionals. It's basically the Uber for dog walking. We're on our second week and our fourth doggo. I'm gonna break down each job we've accepted, our earnings so far, and hopefully help you decide if WAG is something that you wanna try. Before you start walking, you need to fill out an application, pass a background check, and get three to five reviews on your profile. We just had friends fill out the recommendations and that worked fine. There is a catch. There's a $50 application fee, but if you're serious, you'll be able to make that 50 bucks back pretty quick. So it took like two, three days to get our application approved. But after that, you're good to go. Walks get picked up by other walkers pretty quick, especially when you're just starting out and you don't really have any ratings. Just be persistent. Our first job was a one-year-old corgi named Chance. Very cute. Walkers can leave other walkers notes. And so all of the notes for Chance basically said he does not walk. Maybe it's the little corgi legs, but this dude would not budge. But we did it, we went a full mile, and for that we earned $12.90. Number two was a toy poodle named Rufus. And for that one, we had to do a 30 minute walk and feed him dinner. About halfway through the walk, the app prompted us to offer a 10 minute extension for an extra dollar. We ended up making $19.20 from that one, but the owner gave us a $10 tip. For job number three, we got our first sit for a very mellow chocolate lab named Lance. So yeah, that's right, we had a chance and a lance. This was a two-day commitment, so we had to go in Thursday evening, Friday morning, and then again Friday evening, just to give him food and water and then take him on a couple walks. It was about 20 minutes from our place, so we had to do a little bit of driving, a little bit of back and forth, but we ended up making $46.80, plus an $8 tip, and Lance was very cute. And that brings us to today. This beautiful woofer here is Jake and he is staying in our apartment. We're boarding him Saturday night to Wednesday night, and for this we'll make about $207. We make sure he has a safe and comfy place to stay, feed him, walk him, and of course, give him lots of belly ribs. So in total, after that $50 startup cost for four jobs, we're sitting at about $254. Not bad. We typically try to walk a mile or two a day anyways, so being able to walk, sit, and board these puppers has not only been a great way to make a little extra money, but it's been good exercise and a whole lot of fun. Dare I say, a win, win, win. And here's why I think WAG is the best out of any of the apps that we've tried. It seems a little more stable than other gig work. You'll see lots of repeat walks, plus long-term boardings can provide short bursts of guaranteed income. Most importantly, it pays pretty good. It's relative to location, but here in Seattle, you're looking at about $25 to $30 an hour, which is about 30% more than our $18.69 minimum wage. Of course, that doesn't include travel time, but unlike DoorDash or Instacart, you're relying less on your vehicle for the actual work. So less wear and tear in your car, less spending on gas, Really, your only expenses are gonna be extra poop bags or treats. Finally, it's less stress. No rushing to deliver an order on time or scavenging a grocery store for a specific item. I feel like hanging out with a dog actually reduces my stress levels. And to be honest, most of the time, it doesn't even really feel like work. So if you're thinking about WAG, try it out. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And we'll see you on the next one. Say bye. Bye. Also, before we end, I just wanna point out my shirt. It's a dog.